This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the best place to build a beautiful website. Motion tracking is what lets you put 3D objects in your scene by getting a 3D camera self that matches the motion of your original camera, but the problem is that this process takes quite a few steps, especially when you're looking at stuff like error, offset trackers, tracking models. Point is, all this is big brain stuff, so let's simplify it into little brain stuff and get it as close as possible to the auto tracker bun that you find in something like Synthize. Again, this is not a comprehensive tutorial for that I made a 4 hour marathon tracking tutorial. No, this is tracking for idiots. So the first step is of course going to be choosing your footage, and when you're doing this just remember that slow camera movement is better than the fast alternative, and you want to film at a high shutter speed to minimize the amount of motion blur, and when you have your shot ready make sure it's in image sequence format, which I made a tutorial about, but in essence go to the video editing workspace, import in your footage, choose the in and out points that you want for the video, and pick some image format that we can use to render this into a sequence. Now to do our tracking, just import in the sequence to the movie clip editor and hit these no, two buttons no. to set everything up, normalize for better trackers, and have Blender automatically detect our features. You can have there be a lot of trackers for slower processing, fewer trackers for faster processing, but whatever you choose, just have all the trackers sweep through the shot and hit Control out to lock them up. And yeah, not all the trackers are going to be amazing, you can actually tell which of these deviate from the overall motion, but we can quickly fix this by filtering out our trackers by error and then deleting only those trackers. You can repeat this process over and over again for multiple frames, but just make sure that the final result has at least 8 trackers per frame so that we can solve our final motion, and to do this just enable keyframe, have Blender refine for focal length, and pray that Blender's unpredictable solver doesn't fuck you over with a solve error higher than one. So we've now picked out our footage and camera solved it, meaning we can now set up tracking scenes to get our objects in 3D space. Of course this doesn't look right, and this is because of orientation where we wanted to find our ground plane, so to do this just select three trackers that you want to make your ground, use the scaling tools to move the camera away from the origin, and finally just adjust the camera until the origin visually looks correct. And look at that, we now have a correct 3D solve, but there's also these layers, camera constraints, compositing nodes, the whole thing is a bit confusing, so let me simplify it. Basically all you need to do is set up your scene however you'd like, go to film and enable transparency so our shadow catcher is transparent, and then render out your image which is going to automatically we give you the correct result, and the reason this works is that we have one view layer for our objects, one for the shadows where the compositing nodes overlays everything together, including our footage, correctly. Okay, so you made it to the end of the tutorial, and this tutorial is sponsored by Squarespace. What is Squarespace? Well, Squarespace is the best place to make a website because of their very easy-to-use templates. My website, www.cgmatter.com, is made with Squarespace, and I love everything about it. I don't need to know how to code. I don't need to know how to do anything. It just looks good right out of the box. But there are a bunch of features to love about Squarespace, like analytics, so you can track who's going to your website, how many people, how much traffic you're getting. Also, email campaigns, so you can send your personal or brand message over email. And while Squarespace is already affordable at an annual subscription at a price at less than $10 a month. I'm about to make the deal a whole lot sweeter. If you use my link in the description, <laughs> if you use my link in the description, you're going to save 10% off your first website or domain.